Hey guys! We're going to fix this laptop. Now, there's nothing particularly wrong with it, except for it cannot see any Wi-Fi access points on our network. So, as you can see there, we are connected by Giganet. Giganet. Giganet! <laughs> <laughs> connected by Gigabit Ethernet. Giganet! <laughs> to the side of the laptop there, and it's working fine. However... Wait a sec, I can have some Giganet. Have a... <laughs> <laughs> GigaNet. <laughs> However, we cannot see any SSID broadcast by our access points on the network. So today, the most obvious fix for this would be to replace the Wi-Fi card in the laptop. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this apart and put in an identical Aetheros Wi-Fi card into it. Wi-Fi network access point thing in it and see if that helps resolve the issue. As you can see, we've picked up an IP address through Gigabit Ethernet but we can't actually see any Wi-Fi access points uh, broadcast in the office here. So let's go ahead and get cracking and hope you enjoy the video. Cheers guys! Gigging it! So here I have an identical Acer laptop, just the same as the one with the faulty Wi-Fi card in it. Screws on the bottom of the laptop, as you can see here, there are loads of screws dotted all over the place. First things first, take out the cover screws here. So I'm just gonna lay this flat and do it. I'll fast forward a little bit for you guys. My screwdriver's too big. She said! Okay, and then the cover just comes straight off there. Put that aside for now. As you can see, now I've taken the cover off. We can get access to the Wi Fi card, which is just here. We'll go ahead and take that out. There's one little black screw. Go ahead and take that out. Tiny little screw. And take off the sort of signal cable with the device. So as you can see, there is the Wi-Fi card, the little nick. Take the little black cable off it, like so. And this is the card we're gonna use in the other laptop to try and get it working again. I'm even gonna take the memory out of this one and put that into the other one as well. While we're at it, we'll remove the hard drive as we may be able to use that in another machine as well. It's a Toshiba and that's a 500 gig drive, so that's pretty good capacity. Okay, back together. Let's go ahead and put that card into the faulty laptop, which we want to get working again. So I bring that back into play. Turn it over, take the screws out again, as before. As we did before, pull the cover off. Gonna go ahead and upgrade the memory amount from four gig to eight gig. Why not, may as well. Really? Okay, so now we're gonna unscrew the screw again, the Wi-Fi card, take the little signal cable off, take the chip out, as before, exactly the same one, Aetheros, little micro chip thing, and then go ahead and put the other card back in. Just gonna quickly screw that down, and then we'll put it back together and test it. Connect the signal cable back up again. And there we go. So the laptop's got more memory now as well. That should make a big difference. And a replacement Wi-Fi card. Cover back on. Bloody cheeky. Okay guys, so there we go. It's back together now. Let's go ahead and try it. So let's turn this back on and see how we do with it. Windows updates. Okay, here we go guys. Windows updates. Okay, logging it in locally.
Okay, let's see if we can spot the Wi-Fi straight off the bat. Let's bring it down here. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, yeah. There you can see my GoPro in the list. Broadcasting on SSID JB GoPro Hero 3. And then the KW School. Fantastic. It's automatically connected. So, obviously, it remembers it from before, before the card died. So, the profile was recorded. Let's just check we have some internet access. And there we have it, everybody. So, there we go. If you find your laptop has issues seeing your Wi-Fi or the SSID broadcasting from access points, you may have a faulty network card like this machine did. First thing I would check also is that your signal cables are attached to the antennas so you can actually see um, access points in your local area network, anywhere nearby. And if not, then checking the drivers is the next thing to do. If that doesn't work, check that the device is actually installed. And if that doesn't work, check that it's not disabled. It could be disabled in the BIOS or disabled in your network adapters in the control panel. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. And uh, as always, please like and subscribe to me, share the video if you need to, and I'll see you next time. I'm Jake Billing. see ya! Uh-huh.